In this indices, let us see some more rules apart from this the loss of indices. Let us see some other rules now. For example, okay, uh, rule wise I will explain. First one, a into b all to the power m. You can write this is a power m into b power m. Or else, a by b all to the power m is a to the power m by b to the power m. The meaning of this is that power we can write separately for individual terms are in this. That means x y all to the power 3. So this we can write x to the power 3 into again y to the power 3. Right? Same way. If it is 2a square by 3 all to the power 4. So we have each and every uh, element in this we need to express this power. So 2 to the power 4 into a square to the power all to the power 4 by 3 to the power 4. This if we simplify you will get the answer for this. That means if any bracket and all to the power some number that should be uh, exist for each and every element in this. Right? Remember that. And next one a to the power 0 is equals to 1 when a is non-zero when a is not equal to 0. That means any non-zero base any non-zero base raised to the power 0 is equal to unity. So equal to 1. Right? See for example 2 power 0 is 1 minus 2 to the power 0 that value is 1 minus 3 by 2 to the power 0 value is 1. So any non-zero base is raised to the power 0 the value is 1. Right? And so on. Any number to the power 0 except that should be non-zero again. 0 to the power 0 is not equal to 1. Next to rule or negative index. For example, if a is non-zero then a to the power minus m. You can write 1 by a to the power plus m. And 1 by a to the power minus m is a to the power m. So this is the um, power is negative. If you want to make it as positive, just interchange. Denominator it will become plus. If it is 1 by a power minus m is equal to a power m. Let us see example. 2 power minus 3. 2 we should not two actually 2 raised to the power minus 3. But 2 we can't multiply minus 3 times. No, it's not the whole number. This we can write 1 by 2 to the power 3. Now 2 power 3 is 2 raised to the power 3. 2 we can multiply 3 times. That is 1 by 8. Okay. Same type. 1 by 2 to the power minus 3. This is nothing but 2 power plus 3. So these are the examples you can use this. And square root type questions. One more rules. Also just to note that square root of a. This you can write a to the power 1 by 2. Remember. And square root of square root of a power 5 is a to the power 5 by 2. Because a power 5 whole power 1 by 2, right? Square means power 1 by 2. Mm -hmm. So if I see examples for this 2, square root of 3, that is 3 to the power 1 by 2. Square root of 3 power 4, that is 3 power 4 all to the power 1 by 2. If you apply that um, previous rule, 3 power 4 into 1 by 2, 2 1s are 2, 2. So 3 power 2 that is 9. So we can use this way, these rules. Same way we have the cube root. This is square root. Then cube root of a is a to the power 1 by 3. Right? So so on. Then fourth root of a is a power 1 by 4. So finally, we can conclude that nth root of a is a to the power 1 by n. Okay. This is we can generalize. Okay, So these are the properties we can use in this to solve the problems also. So these are the main rules about this uh, indices and problems. right? 
so if you go through topic wise it will be easily you can understand and if you are the first time watching this you can subscribe for the more updates and chapter wise you can proceed and important uh, topics links i am providing description below for class wise for other boards also you can go through it